Should you become a radiologic tech in 2022? The purpose of this video is to help you figure that out. We're gonna go over salaries, demographics, demand, requirements, and more to help you figure out whether this particular occupation is for you. Radiologic techs, also known as radiographers, perform x-rays and other diagnostic imaging examination on patients. They can take x-rays and CAT scans or administer non-radioactive materials into a patient's bloodstream. And this is for diagnostic or research purposes. Radiologic techs position imaging equipment, they adjust the controls, they set exposure time and distance, and they really manage the equipment. They generally need to have an understanding of radiation safety measures and protection devices to comply with government regulations. They also prepare patients for procedures, including taking a medical history, shielding exposed areas that don't need to be imaged. Just like with many of the other healthcare occupations, radiologic techs tend to report high job satisfaction and high meaning. According to the pay scale meaning survey, about 73% report extreme satisfaction or fair satisfaction with their jobs, and about 77% report that their work makes the world a better place. When we compare reported job satisfaction and meaning of radiologic techs against similar occupations, we do notice that they're a little bit on par with registered nurses. Meanwhile, medical sonographers, nuclear medicine techs, and radiation therapists tend to report higher job satisfaction and higher meaning than radiologic techs. Job satisfaction and meaning are two variables you need to be aware of when choosing a career. If you need help choosing a career in 2022, we have the perfect course for you. You're gonna spend about a third of your life working in a particular occupation. You wanna make sure you choose the right one. We have a seven step program called Choose the Right Career that will take you step by step to figure out which occupation is most suitable for you. This is a seven step process. If you're interested, check out the link below. So what kind of people actually become radiologic techs? Right now we're gonna look at demographics and we're gonna look at the personalities of radiologic techs. When we look at the demographics of the United States, it's about 51% female, about 19% Hispanic Latino, 75% Caucasian, 14% African American, and 6% Asian. Meanwhile, when we look at the demographics of radiologic techs, about 72% are female, 13% Hispanic Latino, 85% Caucasian, 9% African American, and 5% Asian. We can also look at the Myers-Briggs personality types of radiologic techs, which types tend to be attracted to this particular occupation and which types don't. This is all from this book, uh, MBTI Tables for Occupations, second edition. They actually found that the most likely Myers-Briggs types to become a radiologic tech is the INFJ, which is the rarest Myers-Briggs type, followed by the ESTJ, the executive, and the ESFJ, the console. Meanwhile, the most commonly found Myers-Briggs types in this particular occupation, a little bit different, is the ESFJ, the console, ESTJ, the executive, and the ISTJ, the inspector. And this is because according to the Myers-Briggs company, one of the most commonly found Myers-Briggs types is the ISTJ, the inspector, whereas the INFJ is actually one of the rarest type, at least according to their survey. If you do end up becoming a radiologic tech, you're most likely going to be working in a hospital, no surprise there. When we look at where radiologic techs are employed by industry, about 58% are employed by hospitals, about 19% physician offices, and about 7% work in laboratories outside of hospitals and physician offices. Next up, we have requirements. What kind of education do you need to become a radiologic tech? And this is a super important question in 2022 because the cost of education has been rising pretty much every single year for the past couple of decades. When we look at employed radiologic techs and their education, about 52% of the surveyed ones had an associate's degree, 22% had a bachelor's degree, and 3% had a master's degree. And this is great news because two-year public associate's degrees are extremely affordable, especially compared to two-year private degrees and four-year private bachelor's degrees. In fact, when we look at the average annual tuition and fees between 2020 and 2021, for a two-year public program, the average cost is about $3,500 per year for a two-year public program. And meanwhile, the most expensive would be $35,852 for tuition at a four-year private institution. So you can definitely save a lot of money by enrolling in a two-year public associate's degree. Next up, we have wages. What kind of wages can radiologic techs expect in 2022? We have the 2021 numbers because 2022 isn't over yet, but the average base salary recorded by the government for 2021 was $66,490 as a base salary before any kind of overtime. This was more than licensed nurses, and this was more than surgical techs. But radiologic techs tend to be out-earned by medical sonographers, which also requires typically requires an associate's degree, but feel free to check out my medical sonographer video. Much more of them tend to have bachelor's degrees than radiologic techs, so maybe the barrier to entry is a little bit greater 
for uh, medical sonographers. There's also nuclear medicine techs, but I also just did a video on this one as well. Very, very few of these and well, you can watch the video and find out for yourself. And radiation therapists tend to make the most with the average base salary of around $94,000 per year. We can also look at base salaries over time. In 2016, the average base salary for a radiologic tech was $59,200. This rose to $66,490 in 2021. This gives us a $1,650 wage growth between 2020 and 2021, or about a 2.5% gain. And just like with many of the other healthcare occupations, uh, radiologic techs can boost their pi pay by working overtime. They can earn time and a half and even double time in some cases in some states like California. And just like with medical sonographers, just like with registered nurses, the highest paying places overwhelmingly in the United States, it's basically California. California has that crazy double time rule where you can earn a lot of double time depending on how many hours you work per, per day or per week but they also have the highest base salaries in fact in san jose california the average base salary for a radiologic tech was one hundred and eighteen thousand four hundred and eighty dollars san francisco is up there santa rosa california is up there and um, Sacramento is up there as well. It really seems like with these niche healthcare occupations, medical sonographers, radiologic tech, nuclear medicine techs, California seems to be one of the best places in the country. It's, it's extremely expensive to live, but the base salaries are really high and you can earn a lot of double time out there. Next up, we have demand. How much demand right now is there for radiologic techs in 2022? If you watch my nuclear medicine tech video, you actually notice that there's actually less employed today than there were a couple of years ago. This isn't the case for radiologic techs. We'll get into that a little bit later. But as far as the size of the workforce, there's about 216,380 employed radiologic techs in the workforce. This is much more than sonographers. This is much more than nuclear medicine techs and radiation therapists. This is a huge, sizable occupation. In fact, this is greater than many of the different engineering fields. So there's a lot of radiologic techs out there. And this means that you could probably find particular roles in the city, state, county, wherever you live in the country, because there's this workforce is so big. It's not as big as say registered nurses where there's over 3 million, but 216,000 is a pretty sizable workforce. We can also look at the number of employed radiologic techs over time. 2016, there were 200,650 employed radiologic techs. This grew to 216,380 in 2021. This means that there's a growth of about 16,000 employed between 2016 and 2021. And just like with many of the other healthcare occupations outside of nuclear medicine techs, government's projecting a 6% growth rate for radiologic techs over the next 10 years. So, and this is because of our aging population, the baby boomers are getting older and they're gonna be consuming a lot of healthcare expenses and healthcare is definitely gonna grow over time because it's gonna serve this giant generation of people. So the outlook pretty, looks pretty good. There's been growth over time. We can also look at job postings. How many job postings are there right now for radiologic techs in 2022? If you were to go do a two-year degree right now, are there plenty of job postings for you once you graduate? We're gonna look at Glassdoor, Indeed, and LinkedIn. And here's the results. On Glassdoor.com, I found 18,255 job postings. On Indeed, 61,000. 400 job postings related to radiologic tech, and on LinkedIn, 25,836 job postings. We compare this to the number of employed, 216,000, and it looks pretty good. There's plenty of demand right now for radiologic techs. If you were to go quickly do a two-year associate's degree, you could probably be pretty certain that you're gonna have plenty of job offerings uh, once you graduate and get certified. So as you can see, there are definitely some pros and cons of choosing this particular occupation over other occupations. There's definitely plenty of demand for radiologic techs in 2022. They have a pretty good base salary, especially out in the state of California, where base salaries for radiologic techs, medical sonographers, nuclear medicine techs, they're really elevated out in California. So yeah, the, the national base salary isn't as much as registered nurses or some of the other similar healthcare occupations. But if you choose certain places in the country, you can definitely have an elevated base salary and then do overtime to boost it even further. A lot of people report pretty good job satisfaction and high meaning with this particular role. And pretty much a lot of the different healthcare occupations report high job satisfaction, and high meat. Thanks so much for watching. If you're a radiologic tech, let us know down in the comments below what you enjoy, what you dislike about this particular occupation. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.